Oh, I thought it was fantastic. 76 million millennials. Enthusiasm. This generation thinks in a whole different way. Excitement. Let me give a shot breaking down my generation. The annual review will not work with this generation. Oh, I thought it was fantastic. I have a page and a half of notes. What if you've been hiring millennials? They won't stick around. So I was meeting with executives that would sometimes be 25, 35, 40 years my senior, and I could feel the generational gap between us and that age gap. And a lot of times, the main points that they would be describing to me were the challenges that they were feeling and facing with their younger workforce. I, I just, I knew that deep down I wanted to help add a voice and help bridge that gap. Entitled is a big thing that comes up. Unrealistic expectations coming into the workplace and thinking that they're going to have your job in three months. Maybe sooner. <laughs> My message is, yes, there are challenges, but this generation can be a huge resource for your companies if we can get past some of these generational gaps. What we wanted to do was go out and really get a true representation of who this generation is. So we launched a project called Moors, Millennials on Record, and interviewed hundreds of millennials from all over the country on key topics like entitlement, engagement, loyalty. This generation, almost more than any other generation, when we come in, it's part of that being engaged, we need to be able to believe that where we're at is going to help us get to where we want to go. We got to know that right away. Because if we don't, we're going to instantly start to feel like, what am I doing here? This isn't the right place for me. And because we have the freedom and the flexibility, because our parents love us so much that I know I can go back home. <laughs> You know, one of the things that frustrates me when I look at some of the other millennial speakers that are out there is a lot of times they're only talking about the millennial generation. They're only talking about Generation Y. But you know what? There's still three other generations in the workplace working shoulder to shoulder with us. It's not just about us. For which generation was the ability to have fun at work the most important thing? Definitely a lot of yellow. <laughs> Most of you are voting for millennials. We need you to know that actually 98% of all respondents, all respondents, voted having fun at work being an important piece of their work environment. When our generation shows up at work and we're wanting to use social networking to connect with our friends, we're, we're pushing back on what does work-life balance mean? We want to be able to work from home. And in turn, a lot of times we're getting labeled. Yes, we have a lot to bring to the table, but don't forget that there is so much, so much that we can learn from the other generations as well. We need coaching. We need your help to stop typing and start talking. But the good news about my generation is we truly do want to be mentored by the other generations. We've got a number of very, very cool new interactive things that we do in our presentations to not only get the audience involved, but to also get their perspective and get their insights on these topics. Whether it's, it's bringing in very cutting edge YouTube clips that we pull, whether it's me running around in the audience with my flip camera, interviewing people prior to the actual event, and then getting them up on stage during our actual speech. Speaking of magic, I've got a new friend in the room. Where is Gary Giltner? <laughs> Every time we interview and research a company on the front end, we find out how unique and how different each company really is. When you see us speak, this is not a canned speech. This is something that we put together specifically for your organization. I was excited. I thought it was great. Part of what I want to do as president is just what Seth was talking about. Now, of course, if you're going to talk about my generation, one of the key influences and defining characteristics, you're going to talk about technology. And while the other generations have been merging onto the information superhighway, our generation has been living in the fast lane the entire time. And while many boomers from kindergarten through 12th grade 
enjoyed years of the mimeograph machine and still talk about getting high off the fumes? How many people remember that? I have no clue what you're talking about. And what Seth taught us is not to be afraid of it. And that's important because so many people, older people, are scared of the technology and scared of the younger generation's ability with the technology. And uh, Seth said, don't be scared. We can exchange this. We want, as the younger generation, what you have to offer, and we will share what we have to offer.